Have you ever wondered why it's X-Men and not X-Woman? Well, did you know that women are generally more likely to survive infectious diseases? Although the numbers are constantly changing, in the current COVID-19 crisis, the mortality rate is about 2.8 among men, with 1.7 among women. Similar patterns emerged during the SARS pandemic. Fatality rates in Hong Kong were 21.9% for men versus 13.2% for women. Scientists also discovered that women suffering from HIV generally have 40% less viral genetic material in their blood than men, and are also less susceptible to hepatitis B and C. Finally, even female lizards have more active immune cells that remove microbes and cellular debris than males. What about other factors, like estrogen, which increases the number of disease-fighting molecules? No, no, no. We're just focusing on the X chromosome, which many scientists claim plays a huge role in immunity. All humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, making 46 in total. Only one of these pairs, the sex chromosomes, differ between males and females. Biological females have two X chromosomes, while biological males have an X and a Y. So what difference does this make? As well as being physically bigger, the X chromosome has about 900 genes, or genetic material that codes for proteins, while the Y only has 50. Of these 900 genes, about 60 of them code for immune functions, and since biological females have two Xs, we have many more genes that support our immune system than our male counterparts. One example is a gene on the X that codes for the toll-like receptor 7 protein that recognizes viral RNA and immediately tells the body that there is an invasion. Some of our other genes also code for interferons, which are proteins that stop viruses from replicating, and antibodies that also fight against viruses. Even though it might seem like women have twice the number of virus-fighting genes, it isn't that simple. See? I'm doing a complex topic. One of the X chromosomes is silence, where most of its genes aren't expressed. This usually happens through a process called methylation, where added methyl groups cause DNA segments to wrap around histones, or DNA organizers, more tightly, and prevents genes from being translated into proteins. There are some genes in the inactivated X chromosome that can escape the silencing. This often happens in lymphocytes, a type of white blood cell, where around 15 to 20% of the genes become activated, but it depends on how sensitive that gene is to external stimuli. But there is a cost to having double Xs. Women are much more susceptible to autoimmune diseases, like arthritis and lupus, because these extra-expressed immune genes attack the body's organs when there are no actual problems. So in COVID-19's case, since women are more likely to have a greater number of expressed virus-fighting genes than males, it's incredibly important to keep researching the power of the X chromosome. X women, and men I guess, forever. <laughs>